Okay, Jean. Yes. Now, what, now, you've been around the world. You've been in a bunch of places. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> many places, many people. But right now, we're at St. Stephen's Church at the ADOS conference. Right. So how did you get here? How did you know about this? Well, my friend, Vanita, from San Francisco, she alerted me to what was going on here. But you're a volunteer at the church also. I mean, I don't understand. She's from San Francisco. Well, I have to do, I'm a deacon. I'm an ordained deacon here. So I could just call and say, okay, I want to volunteer. And I did. But now, you, you explained this before, but what does an ordained deacon mean? Well, I, I studied under Dr. Cosby for two years. And I was proved to be a good person, good standing, wisdom, and all these things that make up deaconship. <laughs> now, Dr. Cosby is actually the, 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 the big guy in this church. Yes, he is. But you have a connection somehow. Well, in 1926, my grandmother and Reverend Cosby's grandfather was worshiping in a church, a small church, called Antioch. Okay, so they split off from Antioch and moved their church to K Old Kentucky Street in Louisville, Kentucky, and that's where the St. Stephen's was founded in 1926. Yeah, yeah. Really? So, so that's a deep connection that he has, isn't you? Yes, I have very deep connection. The whole family was born right into St. Stephen's. So now, what do you think about this ADOS conference? How do you? Because you didn't know about it before. I didn't even know about it, I, and uh, I didn't know what it stood for. But then, when I thought, when I found out what it did stand for, children of uh, slave, children of, tell me. Oh, the, oh uh, American descendants of chattel slavery, or the American descendants of slavery. Yeah, it began to make so much sense to me. And that's why we haven't reached our full capacity in this uh, American society. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to interview, because this is the first day, the first hours of the conference. So in a couple, maybe tomorrow or something like that, I'm going to talk to you again to find out what you learned. Okay. So now you've got to study. That'd be great. You've got to look around and see what's going on. Okay. All right, now. Thanks so much.